Ginger Jester. Why is this taking so long? Hi, Sticky. Alright, let's, uh... I will kill you. Let's leave the lamplight. And, uh... Are you lost? Excuse you? Do you want me to freaking take you there or not? I've killed people for less. Believe me. Let's make up a story to pass the time. Once upon a time, there was this dog. I wonder. His name was Holy Toledo, and he was really powerful. And one day, this giant super mutant attacked him and tried carrying him off. And was our brave hero scared? What no, brave hero? Not at all. He laughed in the face of danger. Ha ha ha. He beat up the monster and everyone cheered. The end. That's all, folks. My god. My god, I found him. The most annoying person. Um, can I just fast travel to Big Town, I wonder? Yes. Because he's behaving like a companion. And companions travel with you, so <clears throat> maybe I can just. We're almost there. Come on, yippee! Yeah, we uh we are here, Sticky. Come on. Come on, dummy douche. I was starting to think that Big Town wasn't a very good place to live, but now I think we can do it, thanks to you. Uh, this is a town, right? Where are the stores? I guess adults don't go to stores that much. That must be why there isn't anything here. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Uh, not really. Any idea why there are barricades surrounding the town? Well, I don't know. I guess the grown-ups built it when they got sick of little brats always hanging around them. I bet that's it. Wow, he's just making shit up. I have to go now. Remember, if you ever <clears throat> need a sidekick, I'm your man. Oh, God, no. Um. Hey, yeah. What do you need? Uh, how about my stuff Bye. back? No. Okay. Not only did he not reward me, he uh just straight up hey, took my me. stuff. Hey, I'm in Big Town. Yeah, haha, Big Town. You're a big boy. Your flies open. Ha <laughs> ha! Made you look. I, I freaking hate this guy. Yeah, he, uh. What? He won't give me my stuff back. Um. Okay. I have ways of making you give me back my stuff. Excuse me? There's more where that came from. Opening Found fire. Okay. That's it. That's it. I just want my stuff back. Like it's my stuff. And can I just have it back? It's not even worth that much. I'm hit. There's more where that came from. I just want my stuff back. Thank you. This game's broken as shit. <laughs> None of that should have happened. He should have just given me my stuff back. Alright, so the rest of you are all gonna stay alive. Okay, cool. What are you doing? Have you come to talk to me? You came to visit. You'll never guess what I found <clears throat> out in the wastes when I was supposed to be patrolling. Here, this is for you. Sugar bombs. Aw. Don't be a stranger. I will. Thank you. Uh, 
All right, let's let's go back to the little lamplight. Now that uh, douche canoe got me to bring him here for nothing. I guess he did say that red would reward reward me, but red is uh, MIA. Back to the stupid place that I tried to get to for like three hours straight. Souvenirs. Uh, souvenirs. Great chamber. What makes it so great? <laughs> Toolbox. You don't take the conductor. Essentials. Little lamplight office building, eh? What do they want with a little, little office building? Excuse me. Oh, that was with the light on. Who are you? What are you doing in here? <clears throat> uh, I rescued those captured kids. I'm a big hero. Well, if you brought them back, then I guess that explains why RG let you in. So, I guess that does make you a big hero. I'm Lucy, and I'm pretty much mommy to the folks here. I try to keep them safe. And when that's not enough, I patch up their cuts and bruises. And when that's not enough, I make sure they get a funeral. <laughs> Thanks for making sure I didn't have to do that for three more of mine. Cool. Um, can you give me directions? Well, where to? Doctor, she's the doctor. Trader, food. I know where all that is. Okay. <laughs> I'll let you get back to work. Thanks. Hopefully, it'll just be skin, knees, and bloody noses today. Would you? Whoa, I've never seen a mungo so close. Are you a raider? Or a slaver? Or a mutant? Because if you are, I'm supposed to go hide. Because I'm too young to use a gun yet. <laughs> I'm not any of those. I'm a vault dweller. At least I was when I was your age. Did you live in the old vault below? I thought nobody <clears throat> lives down there now because it was full of monsters. Mayor doesn't let us go down there because when they went, they didn't come back. You don't look like someone who didn't come back, so maybe you didn't come from there. Hmm. Why do they call you Bumble? It's just a name, okay? Not my fault I knocked stuff over. Lucy says, I still got a lot of growing to do. Because you're a bumbling Bumble. fool. So there's a vault here, eh? And it's full of monsters, eh? I guess that's where all the adults have gone to. Hey, bear, hollow tapes. <clears throat> My name is Carrie Delaney. I teach fourth grade at the Early Dawn Elementary School in Washington, D.C. Yesterday, October 23rd, 2077, Half the school went on a field trip to Lamplight Caverns. We were packing up to leave when... when everything went crazy. The caves started shaking, the lights went out, the kids started screaming. My God! Mr. Pollock went outside to see what was going on. When he came back in, he told us what he saw. Clouds. Mushroom clouds. It's finally happened. The end of the world. Cool. We're all okay. If you can call being stuck in a cave with 82 terrified kids okay. Alive, anyway. <clears throat> I don't know what the hell we're going to do. It's been four days. Claudia went out this morning to look around and never came back. Then Mr. Cobb went out to look for her. And he never came back. So now there's only me, two other teachers, two of the parents who were chaperoning, and a few of the cavern staff. And all these poor kids. We've got enough food and water to last for a while, I guess. But after that, I just don't know. Hey. We can't stay in here forever. Can we? Hey. Hey, are we letting Mungo's in now? 
didn't hear a scuffle, so I'm guessing you're some sort of guest. So, what's so cool about you, Fancy Pants? Must be a pretty good reason for you to get let in, see? I'm from Vault 101, and I rescued some of your friends from the slavers. Oh, that was you? <laughs> nice work. <clears throat> I hope you got some good laughs out of it before you left. Gotta make sure they know not to try that again. Ha ha ha. Speaking of which, I'm Knock Knock, and I take care of the general morale around here. Which is to say, I collect a lot of stories, and sometimes trade them to keep the others amused. More owls better than less owl, see? Huh? 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 Okay, bye. Right. Great chamber. Spelunkers. The signs are very illuminated. Okay, that's my light. Essentials, souvenirs. Essentials was back the way I came. Hmm. Murder pass. I guess I mean forward, not up. Cause that's a store, I'm pretty sure. Dead people's. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> um... Okay, let's go visit the store, I guess. Oh, that's another way to the Great Chamber. It's just the door? Okay. <laughs> Letting Mungo's in now? Didn't hear any shots, so I'm guessing you're not here to raid us. And if you're not here to raid us, you might just have brought something cool for us, see? So, who are you? And how'd you get let in? Uh, <laughs> that was you? Nice work! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of which, I'm Nick Knack, and I take care of the general store around here. Which is to say, I collect a lot of stuff, and sometimes trade it for other stuff. Uh, repair? Sure. Laser rifle, ripper, all that. Eh, I don't need to repair that stuff. Actually, uh, sure. we'll repair my ripper. Yeah. Let's trade. I did. I brought some really cool stuff. A gun, and another gun, and another gun. And, uh, a laser rifle. And, uh, some leather armor, and a party hat. You like party hats, don't you? Dirty water. Mmm. -mm. I have a lot more stuff than I thought I did. Alright. Uh, yep. Come again. I should have more stuff soon. Come on. Hmm. Still makes me want, feel like I should be saving the game. I don't think you should think. Little dog. Rex. So this is murder path or bloody path or something or other. Hmm. Okay, and an interruption, but uh, let's uh, let's continue whatever the fuck I was doing last time. <laughs> By random interruption, I mean I had to stop playing abruptly, and uh, this is the next day now, so uh, I'm a little disoriented. I know I'm in a little like cavern or lamp like little little lamp like cavern, but I don't remember what they called this place. I don't think this was the great. All in the ground. Let's talk to, to uh, Sammy. 
that's why I, I didn't want to talk to you, princess. Because you're a hey, bitch. Squirt. Hey, Squirt. Hey, look at me when I talk to you. What? You getting a nickname anytime soon? Maybe you can get one that helps people figure out you're not a girl. Big jerk. Yep. We didn't need any Mungo's help getting out of there, you know. But you did it. So, uh, thanks. But that means I gotta go back to guarding the back gate with Princess. Ugh. <clears throat> Do you enjoy guarding the back gate? No, because Princess always bosses me around, and there's never nothing to gun. That's all I'm gonna say while she's around. That's a double negative. Nobody's teaching you proper English. Not that that matters. Being taught it doesn't mean you're gonna apply it. Just ask 90% of humans. You're bad. I don't think I should talk to you. What's it like guarding the back gate? It's so dull. Practically nothing ever tries to come through the back gate anymore, so I never get to shoot anyone. Aw, uh, too bad. at the front gate, but RJ specifically put me back here. Up front, at least there's a chance I can shoot some unwanted visitors. Which could have included you, Mungo. Why would you have shot at me? <laughs> could have been a lot of reasons. Maybe you sounded like a monster in all that darkness. Maybe you had a weapon drawn and looked like a raider. Maybe I just decided I didn't like your stupid Mungo face. Okay. Well, thank goodness you gave me permission, jerk. So you all hate adults. You don't want adults around. But people get old and become adults and you're aware that this happens to everyone. They're children. They don't... They don't have to apply logic to things because they're children. Uh, so can I go through this back gate now? Yeah, I'm... I'm... Can I go? Well, look who's here. Shut up! Shut up! I guess I have to get... A different quest or something. Go in there, or maybe that's how I get back. Watch it. Watch it. The mayor said it's okay for you to be in here, right? Because Mungos aren't allowed in here unless the mayor says so. So are you an okay Mungo? Because if you aren't an okay Mungo, then that means we should stop you. And that means I've got to get my gun from lockdown. So stay here, okay? Uh, beat it, kid. You bother me. But wait. You don't even know who I am yet. You're Zip, the guy who talks fast. I shot laser beams. Um, why did I want to come here? Great chamber. That's what I was thinking of. Hi. You're bad. I don't think I should talk to you. You know I'm bad. I'm bad. You know it. Come on. Oh, that's the doctor lady. Okay. You go have fun playing doctor now. I'm gonna go into the Great Chamber, because I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to go in here. Uh, uh, Rex, mud face. <laughs> uh, why did that guy just run away from me? There he goes. Okay, so this isn't, like, a, a dungeon area. This is... Like they're actual. Watch it. Oh. Okay, so you get in, but I got my eye on you. I am in. Make any trouble in here? Got it? I ain't having no shit butts making trouble. That's also a double negative, kid. Um. Uh, gee, what a great reception for a returning hero. Boo hoo! You big baby. You're still a mungo, and I still don't like mungos. You want a party or something? You go pay some mungos to be your friends, and then they can talk all about how great you are. How's that? Well, it sounds like you really got a firm grip on what adults are like. That's right, and don't come back. You invited me in. Ugh, the inconsistencies. <laughs> it's like that uh, slaver that I talked to, and she like threatened to beat the shit out of me if I talked to her anymore, and I was like, okay, bye, and she was like, you come back now. 
What? Ooh. Not red, A. Eh? Can just take A. Eh? Not stealing, A. Eh? Not that I mind stealing, but... Then I have to crouch, and that involves pressing a button, and that's a lot of work. Hey there, pal. Be we. Be we. Hello, I'm Billy. <laughs> the little lamp light. <laughs> hey, you look like you're handy with the weapon. I got kicked off the scab team, so I guess I don't need mine anymore. Wanna buy my laser rifle? Five hundred caps, and it's all yours. <laughs> no, I'm doing it. Stop talking like that. No one thinks it's cute. Talking like what? You're weird. <laughs> uh, I knew a kid who talked like that until he was like 10. Hello, mister. Uh... Maybe I'll regret this, but how did you get your nickname, Bowie? Nickname? What are you talking about? <laughs> you said you're selling your wave laser rifle? I sure did. Five hundred caps, and this laser rifle's all yours. Hmm. Five hundred for a kid's toy? No way. Okay, it's your loss. How'd it go now? Bye bye. That's funny. That is funny. Uh, I'm trying to find some clue or some way into the vault that they mentioned. Huh. An underground pool? Pond? Lake? Ocean? Planet? Galaxy? <laughs> oh, it is radiated. Where is the vault to? It must be the, uh... There was a place that was like barred off at the back entrance that they that I was to talking to Princess, but there was another door like the Great Cavern and something else that I I think I wasn't supposed to go to. I don't know. This place is confusing. I was up there already. It's confusing. Buh, that's where I saw all the ammo. Mungo, Mungo smells like dungo. Yeah, you better run. That... What is this place? I'm so confused. Um... Yeah! Hey, yeah! Watch it. No, you watch it. I'm bigger than you. I'm higher on the food chain. Mm-hmm. Keep out. Not part of tour. This looks promising. Places I'm not supposed to be going, that's the places I want to be going. Here to terminal. Terminal is not powered. And that opens the door. Reactor chamber, a eh? 87? Vault 87? Dun dun dun! Dog, are you following me? There's no secret pathways through the back here. Not up here as such. 
Okay, so that is promising. But I've got to find some way, some reason, some quest uh, in order to gain access to that. Wow, cool dead end, bro. What is this? Star Tropics? Ha <laughs> ha. This place is so disorienting. Hello. Hi, Bewey. I'm taking this. Can't stop me. Hmm. Um. Reactor chamber, my play cavern. So I've, I've pretty much been everywhere in here now. So, uh, figure out a way to get elsewhere. I think this is the way. Nope, but this is the only area that I haven't been to. Why are you just running around in the pile of nonsense? I guess she is also a pile of nonsense. Ooh. Ooh. Nope. Very good. Wow. What a great episode this is going to be. Me just wandering around in little lamplight cavern aimlessly. It, uh, spelunkers. Okay. Is this. Oh, this is. Well, how about that shit? I accidentally found an additional way to go. That's called spelunkers. Oh, is it just a shop? What? You're bad. I don't think I should talk to you. Is that because I have bad karma? Okay. Evil. Harbinger of war. Yeah, I think I have bad karma. <laughs> Who would have thought with all the murdering and the stealing and whatnot? Whoa. Okay, RJ had better have a good reason to let you in. Because right now, all I'm seeing is a Mungo who's here to take our food and screw us over. Whoa. Hey, I rescued those kids from the slavers. You owe me some respect, kid. Oh, really? Yeah. So you're saying you brought back three more hungry mouths, too? Great. You're just making my day better and better. Look, I'm a Claire. And I'm in charge of the crap we call food down here. And we've got precious little enough to go around as it is. So yeah, thanks for bringing those folks back alive. But don't expect me to throw you a big party over it. Wow, you'd rather that your friends died instead of having to feed them. Cool. Um... Where do you get food for this place? Honestly, when we can't scavenge some from outside... We mostly scrape it off the walls and skim it off the water. No, really. Most of our food comes from fungus that grows in these caves. Ooh. It's not so bad when you get used to it. And we don't have much choice. At least it's filling. So we don't have to eat much of it. But man, oh man, it tastes terrible. Uh, where does the fungus come from? It's pretty hard to find. And I hear it doesn't grow in other caves. I don't know why it's here, but without it, we'd be goners. Think fungus just grows on trees? No, it grows in caves. Ugh. Knock Knock came up with that one once, and now it's stuck in my head forever. Doesn't take any work to get it to grow down here. All I have to do is collect and prepare it. Mostly, I try to get the stink off it. How does the fungus grow? They say the fungus grows in the pools where the first lamplighters dumped the mungos. That's about the most they ever helped us. 
I don't know how true that is, but I know sometimes the scav team comes back with the strange meat that tastes terrible, but the fungus loves it. I don't know where they find that meat, but if you could bring some back, I'd be glad to trade fungus for it. Of course, McCready'd have to okay it. Well then, that's all I need to know. Sure. Why are you called a clear? Well, I didn't get the nickname for being fat and full of cream, if that's what you're asking. Back when I was on the scav team, I found some pages from an old cookbook. Sometimes I try them out. Just for the record, don't try making an eclair out of cave fungus. The taste sticks with you, and not in a good way. Um, I'd like some food. Sure thing, Mungo. We don't have much to spare, so get ready to pay. Does he actually carry, uh, cave fungus? He has wine and whiskey, scotch, potato crisps, the steaks. He has full-blown steaks and beer, but they're eating fungus. About time, man. This mold isn't getting any tastier. Yeah, okay. That's enough of that. Hey, more ammo boxes that aren't tagged as being theirs. I'm just gonna take them. Once I found the bottle of Nuka Cola Quantum, and I drank the whole thing and then burped really loud, and I don't remember the next week. Uh. I think the dialogue is broken. LL as it follows player two. And guess what? Did you know once I put gunpowder in Nuka Cola and tasted kind of funny, but everything went swirly, then I flew around, and then it. Don't remember. So he's like following me now. You're standing on a table. I heard that super mutants turn into super mutants because they're just fools that got bitten by ants and had some kind of allergic reaction. Hey, watch it. Excuse me. Wow. Thanks for the help out there. If it weren't for you, I'd be a goner for sure. Far as I'm concerned, you're welcome in here anytime. Of course, it isn't really up to me. So what do you need? Maybe it should be up to you. Why are you called Squirrel? I like to think it's because of my inquisitive and charming nature, as well as my natural climbing ability. But Knock Knock says it's because I'm totally nuts. Guess which one's probably right. Ha 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 ha. I'll try. Well, now, here's something new. What's a grown-up like you doing in Little Lamplight? Don't tell me McCready's going soft on us. Whoa, this guy called me a grown-up instead of a mungo. Mayor McCready let me in for rescuing those kids. That was you? Well, my most sincere thanks, then. You brought my sister Penny back to me, and I couldn't ask more than that. I'm Joseph, and if there's ever anything I can do for you, just name it. As the oldest kid in town, I spent most of my time teaching, but I do what I can to keep the kids clean and fresh-faced. Say, if you're ever looking for a haircut, I'd be glad to offer my services. You only have to ask. Oh. Um, can you give me directions? I should be able to do that. Dr. Trader, food. Uh, show me the way. I need to know the way. Hey, Penny. Thanks for getting me back. I really miss my brother. Everyone calls you a Mungo, but I think you're an okay Mungo. Why do you have the nickname Penny? It's not a nickname. My name's Penelope. Oh, okay, Very chill out. Lazy and don't like saying the whole thing is all. What is this, Tales of Hesperia? <laughs> Alright, bye. It's funny, because, uh... There's a character in that named Estelise, and they call her Estelle. And she's like, please, call me Estelle, because Estelise is hard to say. And I'm like, not not really. It's one extra syllable. It's not... Oh boy, I, I gotta take a nap. I'm so tired from pronouncing all three syllables in your name. Anyway, uh... The... It's been a long time, man. I just, it's hard. I can't find anything in here. There's clearly quests to be done. I just don't know who I need to talk to. And all the kids are just being douchebags. I don't know if I'm... Uh, like, capable of doing a quest. Maybe I should just look it up. I'll just do a, a quick search for uh, Vault 87, was it? 
and see what I can find out. And uh, hopefully, next episode, I'll start out by starting that quest, or if not, I'll go do something else. All right.